Hi everyone, I wanted to show you two tools that I recently created and may be useful for you. One is for managing and exporting UDINs inside Nuke and the other one is for rendering peer ref pass directly. I did this UV chart because for me it's a very common problem to have a complex geo inside Nuke where we have split all the UVs in different UDINs Often, I needed to search for a specific part manually or create a template with all of them. This gizmo allows you automatically detect the coordinates where UV exists. The quality we choose will be the size of our each UV separately. And we can also crop manually if we only want to select specific ones. We will also be able to preview by the coordinate numbers and colors. If we select char and geo in our output, we will see our geo with the color of each coordinate. I often had the problem that I don't know which part of the body is which UV, so I add this one with a position pass that allows you to see very quickly where the UV you are most interested in. You can use Ctrl Z pick directly or you can activate the display position option and do the normal picker. If you activate the display position option, you can do a picker also in the UV coordinates. We have three export options. The first one, in a single skyline render, it exports a template with the range of UVs. It's pretty fast option, but we will have all the UVs together. The size per UV will be the one you select in the gizmo. If we have the problem that our UVs are not sorted, the second option allows us to export each UV coordinate separately. It's more heavy but gives us more control if we need it. Manually, we can edit the values of both the range and the separate UVs to remove or add more coordinates. Finally, the UV chart is mapped with a position pass. With this selector, we can do Ctrl Z pick and quickly select which UV we want to export specifically. We can also activate the display UV position option and do a normal picker. The other gizmo I did is allow you to export a position reference pass when we have animation in our geometry. We can pick automatically the UVs, select the quality and add a reference frame. We can keep always the same, the important thing is keep this frozen. After this, we will have our position reference that we can use to create our mask. The rest of the options are the same as a normal Skyland render. In this example, we can see one interesting thing that it happens inside Nuke with DataPass. Here we have two Skyline renders exactly the same, but one with anti-aliasing activated and the other one with the anti-aliasing none. If we do the difference, we can see how new has problem to manage the edge of the geometry if we have this option activated. So whenever you need it to render this data pass, try not to use this option. I hope it helps for you. Um, bye bye.